Hi everybody, my name is Julie and today is September 2nd, 2015 and this is the first day of my 90 day challenge. As you can see, I am outside. I am currently walking on an eight mile trail. So with this 90 day challenge, I hope to become a better person by the end of it. Um, I wanna be more aware, be more outgoing. I definitely wanna be more healthy and get more exercise in and just all around be a better, happier person. And so I have seen this done before on a couple YouTube channels. I'll leave the links down below for you if you wanna go check those out. Um, so this is my start. I'm starting with a walk, like I said, an eight mile walk. And I just wanna get outside, get into nature, um, kinda just clear my head a little bit, which I think is a really good idea. And I'm videotaping this on my iPhone. I don't have a really fancy camera or anything. I really hope to get one eventually. But as of now, this is gonna have to do. So sorry if the quality isn't the best, but that's what I got right now. And I plan on, you know, keeping you guys up to date, keeping myself up to date. Um, at the end of the day, if I feel like I've successfully completed the day as best as I could, as best to my ability, I'm gonna cross it off on the calendar to show you guys, to keep track of the days. Um, I hope to show you guys what I do throughout the day on some days, what I like to eat, what I have been eating, and I hope this, keeping this kind of video log or vlog will just really be beneficial in the long run. So we will see where it goes. I hope you guys follow me through this. Leave any comments below on things I should do or workouts I should do or what I could do outside. So yeah, I'll get back to you. So I've made it halfway through the trail and I absolutely have to pee like crazy. Um, I can't really turn around and walk back because it'd be the same distance as if I walked and finished the trail. So I might just have to run and finish the trail. Ugh, here we go. I don't know about you guys or girls, mostly girls, but sometimes I feel like I have to wear like thick bras because just every time I run the boobs it's just no control all right so I'm now home um, and I am currently making my breakfast or lunch or kind of in between breakfast and lunch brunch and I am making my absolute favorite which are waffles so I use these Kodiak cakes power cakes and I use the protein pack kind and what I do is I actually measure out um, the serving size. Um, I have my little scale here. It's nothing fancy at all, and I just will measure out 53 grams of it, which, as you can see, I have measured out, and then all I do is I add water. And I don't add a certain amount. I just add a little bit at a time and make it the consistency that I like it. All right, so then all I do... spray the waffle maker. Ours is pretty old so I spray it pretty well and then I will just scoop in. I like my waffle mix kind of thick. Um, I like my waffle to be really thick and dense and so I don't add as much water as I know some people like to. Some people like to make it really thin and have two or three waffles out of the serving size but I like to have one big thick waffle. And then I just close it and wait for it to be ready. 
And here we have it, the final product. Um, I have my waffle, and then I topped it with some blackberry um, reduction that I made over the stove. So I am sitting here enjoying my breakfast. Um, sometimes it is so tempting um, living with my family just because of stuff like this. Let me show you. So this is leftover breakfast um, that my sister had before school and she just left it sitting out. And all I want to do so bad is just to eat um, their cinnamon waffles. Um, so they're like cinnamon rolls that she put into a waffle iron and it has icing on it and it's just so hard to withstand the temptation but I'm not going to eat them. All right so it is a few hours later and I'm on my way to work um, but I decided to stop at the grocery store. I'm in the parking lot. I'm not driving I promise um, to grab some food for lunch and for dinner. Um, I like to eat lunch a little later than usual, maybe like around one or two, just so I'm not eating dinner so early, um, just to kind of spread it out throughout the day. And the one thing that really just sucks with going to work at um, at a time that conflicts with, you know, a usual lunch time or a usual dinner time is that I usually have to pack. And I love cooking, I love being in the kitchen, I love making food. Um, and it's just hard when you're at work and you don't have access to a stove or really anything besides a microwave. And so it's really tempting just to go to the store and buy something that's ready to eat. But usually foods like that um, aren't very healthful. Um, and they're packed with lots of calories and all the processed foods and just stuff that really isn't good for you. And so I'm at the grocery store and I'm gonna buy some fruits, some vegetables, um, see what they have to offer. Um, granted, not all packaged foods and processed foods are bad for you, but a lot of the a lot of the times there are a lot better options that you have. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go check it out now and see what I can get. Alrighty, so I just got out of Kroger, and this is the stuff I picked up that I'm going to snack on during work, eat for dinner. Um, let me show you. So the first thing I got was an apple. You can never go wrong with apples. Then I got a red plum, blueberries, raspberries. I got these kale chips. I've never had them. I've never tried them. It's the first time I've seen them. I'm going to give them a go. I got the zesty nacho flavor. I got a Laura bar banana and finally I got pickles weirdly enough um it's craving something salty and I know pickles are salty and they provide a lot of fiber into your diet so that's what I got hashtag food time with Jules all right so as I'm sitting here editing this first video I realized I forgot I completely forgot to mark off at the end of the night that I completed day one so here we go all right, so we have September and day one was the second. I can officially cross it off.